Welcome home, my love. I opened up the green garbage bag and there they were, covered in last night's gravy or something, the marker ink running into the paper and spreading from the dampness. I remember feeling my heart sink and stop beating for a minute. So I took another deep breath for the hundredth time in my heartbroken days, just like I had all the other times, closed the garbage bag, and stored that pain somewhere deep in my body for another time. I used to draw the most intricate, colorful gardens, forests, and houses. I'd fill them with the flowers I'd copy from seed catalogs and bulb ordering magazines, and they were so real to me I could feel them and smell them, and feel the sunlight on the back of my neck while I drew them. I was a terrible drawer, but the feelings were there, and I knew what it all looked like because it was so clear in my heart and mind. I'd add birds and turtles, butterflies and spiders in the trees, and there was always water, either a lake or a river. The house always had big windows with sun streaming in, and there was a big balcony on the second floor. There were white pine trees, just like the area I grew up in. I've always had a thing for those white pine trees. I'd stow the drawings away between my mattress and my box spring and pull them out just to look at them or to add to them. I remember my jaw. It's one of the things I remember clearly. When I was angry, I felt it in my teeth and in my jaw. Pretty sure I stored a lot of sadness in there too. You live in a fantasy, in your own world. Well, yeah, I needed somewhere to go to escape. And in those days, it was the real estate classifieds, my garden and house drawings, and I loved it there. So I just kept drawing. A few years ago, I felt it again. I could feel the sun on my back. I could hear the breeze moving through the pine trees. I could hear the birds cawing. And over dinner one night, I said to Andrew, what do you think about moving? So we had one of those whiteboards in our kitchen and I wiped it all down and cleared it all off, grabbed some markers, and I wrote upcoming on the top of the whiteboard. And I drew a peach tree and a spiral garden and some white pine trees and the house that I'd been drawing since I was a kid. So we put it up on the wall Andrew probably put it on the wall. It was already on the wall. Was it? Anyway, so I asked Andrew to put it back up on the wall and we just went on with our lives. So we went for drives through the area that we were looking at and it was so beautiful and we would drive down these roads and I could just feel that something was happening. There was this one house that kept popping up, but every time I looked to see how close it was to where we wanted to be, it was just a smidge out of our range. So I kept putting it to the side. After a few non-starters, we decided to give that one a go. So we pulled up to the driveway and there's this beautiful, beautiful white pine tree. And we came down, I went straight, said hi to the tree first, and then we came right down this pathway that I just came back down right now with my two older kids. And I stood in this exact spot and I was facing the lake like this, and I had my cell phone out, and I just went. Okay, this will do. And I looked up at the, towards the house, and I saw my son running down again, because he had run up and down a few times. And I saw him running down towards me, and I could feel it in my body. I could feel this, like, just like what the ice just did, actually a very deep settling in my soul, and I just knew. And I hadn't even seen the house yet. Standing here with my two oldest kids, and I could feel like my hands were shaking, and I was just like kind of jittery and really excited, and I just allowed it to happen. Because as we turned onto this very road that we were coming onto, I literally felt my body drop, and I immediately started crying and I turned to Andrew and kind of laughingly said I don't even know why I'm crying but I think this is it and as we drove down the road the the houses looked familiar the road felt familiar each twist and turn I felt like I'd already been there there was this beautiful lake that came right up to the road and we drove past it and I just remember like looking at it and it felt like everything was in slow motion and then we came in and we pulled up and there was this massive 200 year old white pine tree just sitting there and it was literally like she had her arms wide open the sun was coming out from behind her hello birds and she was saying welcome you've made it and i'll never forget that so we hadn't even been inside the house yet and i already knew but we walked inside the house myself and the two big kids in a nutshell as we were leaving we said to the real estate agent we'll give you a call tonight we'll be putting in an offer 
Hey, you over there, little me, don't listen to them. Listen to your heart. Do you feel it? Do you feel the truth of it? Do you feel that sunlight on your back? It's real. It's okay to escape right now and draw because someday you're going to feel all of it when the time is right and you're going to be well supported and you're going to get through it. I promise. Let that warm you right now. Let that comfort you. Let the momentum of what you're feeling right now keep you moving forward because you're going to make it. You're going to get there. And I know that it hurts so much right now, but do not let them throw your dreams away. Keep drawing, keep writing, keep painting, and keep stuffing those beautiful pictures underneath your mattress. So here's the thing. Let yourself want what you want. Let yourself dream. And heck, little one, little me, little you, all the adults, Grab some markers, start drawing. Grab a pencil, start writing. Your dream absolutely belongs here. It's okay if they throw it in the garbage because you'll just draw another one. They can't take your ideas away. They can't take your dreams away. That's really sad. This is a true story. That's why it's so emotional. I want everyone to know that. And that dog that you've been dreaming of, that beautiful white dragon dog from the never ending story, there he is. Did you hear that crack? The ice is settling, it's beautiful. There, see, I keep that for bloopers, not bloopers, but just pieces of real life. That was awesome. Woo! <laughs>